All right, baits, rods, propane, light, camera gear, heater, propane, fish finder, extra clothing, bait. Gonna need bait. What is up, MFers? Welcome back to another very exciting episode today. I'm super jacked because tonight I am doing something I have never ever done in my life. I've seen people do it while ice fishing, uh, but I've never actually done it today. But my buddy Andrew hit me up down in Missouri and he said that he is on some, some really, really good fish and he's catching them using these glow lamps underneath the ice. And that's something I've never ever done before, but obviously can be very, very effective. So I got about a two and a half, three hour drive ahead of me here. It's early afternoon right now. So we're going to get down there, uh, kind of get the last of the daylight to get set up and everything with the hut, heater, all that stuff. And then we turn the lights on and the magic begins to happen. I don't know if this is actually going to work. He said that it works a lot of the time. Sometimes it doesn't work at all. Uh, but regardless, it can draw in some of the biggest fish in the lake. So I got to get to the gas station, get on the road, and I'll catch you guys in a couple hours at the lake. Woo! Just got to the lake. About two and a half hour drive, but we are here. It's super, super windy, so I don't know how much I'm going to be talking until we get out on the lake. Buddy Andrew right here. He's just starting his YouTube channel, so I'll link it down below. Go check out Andrew's channel. But uh, yeah, we're pretty stoked. He says there, there's a lot of good crappie to catch. And this is actually the lake where I had my PB previously uh, before I broke that uh, down in Texas. It was an eight and a half pounder. So there's giant bass in here, giant walleye in here, big crappie, big bluegill. Super stoked. Let's go get set up. Oh, damn. Dude, I'm down with that, whatever. We can kind of bounce around, doesn't matter to me. All right guys, I lied to you. Plan of attack is to hit a couple of these little holes before we decide which one we're gonna set the hut up around. Obviously we want to uh, get on a group of fish. So I'm gonna start with the old wax worm teardrop combo that has been so good for me. Andrew starting with the minnow over there. Get the old fish finder flashing away so we can see what is down there. Worry, shake and bake. Oh God, dude, that's a good one. All right, well, turns out there's fish in here. Dude, that's a good crappie. Oh man, I got one on me already. There we go. Well, not a big one, but first fish of the day. I'll take it through the ice. Little crap eye, not a big keeper size, but good way to start. I can't believe how many fish there are right here, man. This is insane. Little blue gal. All right, we just got the, uh, the huts set up. This is our setup right now, and I really want to fish because those right there, those are fish. That's brush pile, but that is fish right there. Got four holes set up, and we're actually we're gonna set the light up in just a second. Get the the light put in that hole up there. All right, moment of truth. Just gonna hook them up. So we put the light. The light's like a long, slender, couple feet long. It's got little LEDs wrapped around that are green. And we hook to the battery, and should be good to go at that point. To attract the bait fish and the plankton, that's gonna attract the crappie. Woo. There we go. That is pretty damn. Slick. Wow, this is uh, this is gonna be a pretty cool experience. We'll see, see if this can attract some big ones. This is gonna be pretty neat. It's already pretty bright and it's not even dark outside yet. But once it gets really dark, this is gonna be pretty sick footage. Got some very interested little pecker heads. Uh, Keep getting these dead minnows. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a couple of those in there. All right. Oh, there you go. First one. Oh, that's a giant. A giant gilly. That's why you put the light down, folks. Catch all the biggins. And there he is. Oh, I just got bit. Mm hmm All right. Spot does not suck. Just got to weed the small ones out, I hope. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Wrong little bluegill. Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, I got you. Hooked up. They're like... Gilly? Gilly. Super... Just barely picking it up, but they're so active. I think after a while, we'll weed through some of these little guys. Go down there. There he is. Oh! Slab daddy, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Good That's one. That's what it's about. 
Wow. 12, 13 incher. Easy. Solid. Damn, dude. On the waxy. Those are the ones we need to find. That's wow. Most, that must have been what I lost. Look at that. That's a big one. Mr. Ooh, there you a go. Better one. Better yeah. Friend. Little crappy. Oh, crappy. he felt better. He better than those <laughs> little gillies, I guess. Yeah. They're coming into the light. Cool They're coming fish. in. They're coming in. That's right. Little by little. Oh, that's a better oh. one. That's for sure a better one. Solid. Yes. Oh, Slap. yes. <laughs> the yeah. crappie light. Crappie light. Got the glow light. Bringing them in. Oh, yeah. That's a good 12 Dude, that's, that's pretty slick. Yeah, that's a good a good not not a giant but uh definitely one of the better ones we've caught tonight for sure definitely a stud let's get some more of those slab daddy all right so we've had the light down for probably about an hour or so and yeah. andrew was telling me from from fishing with his buddy and everything doing this glow light thing that it takes about an hour for everything to come in once it gets dark so what happens is you know the lights down there so the bacteria the plankton everything comes up bait fish eat the plankton and it really makes the fish active and we were catching a lot of small fish at first but now our size our quality is increasing a ton yeah and that's what we got in our bucket so far that one right there is probably like 13 inch crappie and a bunch of like 11 to 12 inch crappie so definitely improving in size we might move around a little bit not sure yet might go look for some bass uh, but yeah so far this light is definitely sick it's uh i would say it's definitely helping us catch better quality fish it's really really made them active those are fish. That's the brush pile. Just to show you guys, here comes my teardrop coming into play. There's my teardrop right there. You guys will see the archers come on up to him. Here he comes from a distance. Maybe. Yep, he's right there. He's right on it, right below it. That's a fish. Oh, trying to lose the old light. Wow. The that light's like fish. touching him. <laughs> Didn't scare that guy. I'll put it down further. A little crappie? A little crap. Where are you by the bottom? There's another one down there. Just, uh, we just moved out here. We're trying to catch some bass now. Something different anyway. But uh, doing a little bit of exploring. Caught a bunch of bluegill and obviously a bunch of crappie too. A couple decent crappie. They really, really got active when we put that light down there the first hour or so. But uh, haven't got a big crappie in a while, so we're gonna kind of hole hop a little bit, see if we can catch a big bass maybe. Oh, just move around, enjoy the nice, decent-ish weather. It's a big wide open, but there's like there he is. Oh, good one. Oh, he's behind the brush, too. Uh oh, my goodness. Can you see him? Oh, no, you're on the bottom of the hole, I think. Did you lose him? Oh, I am stuck on the brush pile. Uh oh, here he comes. Nope. Oh, the brush pile's right there. Look how small he is. Dang, he's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's funny. Gilly. Mr. Gillian. Yep. We see that one. Pretty little guy. In the dark. There's a okay. fish. Yeah? It took long enough. Nice. Good one. And a little out. Little crappie. Little baby. Well, guys, we just moved back for a last hurrah to our green hot hole. Want to see if any fish moved in after we went and searched for a, a bigger bass or something. This is the only guy so far. So we're going to give it a couple more minutes. This potentially could be the last fish of the night. But been a super sick time out here. The light through the ice is dope. Got one, dude. Got oh, one dude. on the minnow. They moved in. Moved in. Little guy. Little crappie, but Little hey, guy. we're catching fish now. Rudely interrupted me with your fish catch. Yeah, no, didn't that launch? <laughs> That's a giant. Giant. The biggest crappie I've ever seen. He's going back because I want his genetics to yes. live on. Yes. Spring, summer, it drops back down 40 feet every year. There we go. Might be an improvement. Maybe not. Nope. A That's crop. a baby. <laughs> they definitely moved in on this light, though. Yeah, they did for sure. We left, gave the light a little bit chance to warm things up, and they moved in. We've caught They some came light. to the light. Always takes me like two takes. Oh, there you go. Good one? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Big in. Big in. 
Man. Oh, man. You were just talking about leaving. Too. Fatty, seriously. Just talking about getting out of here. That makes you not want to do it. That is a freaking beautiful crappie, and he wants to go back home. That's a good one. Nice, man. I was like, oh, he's fighting better. I was just like slowly reeling it up the brush pile, and he just wow munched it. Nailed it. Damn, dude. Yeah, that's a good one. Sweet. Well, guys, that is it for today's video. Thanks a ton for sticking around and watching. I'm back home now, obviously, editing, getting this video put together. Realized I didn't shoot an outro, obviously, because it was a little bit dark when we got off the water there. But super, super fun time. You know, we didn't catch any mondos, no giant bass or walleye. Uh, but we caught a ton of really, really good crappie, and Andrew actually got to take those home uh, and eat those. So that was uh, super, super sick. Caught a bunch of bluegill as well, too, and a bunch of, of little small ones. But that light, that was something I had never done before, is put a light down the water to uh, attract the plankton and the bait fish and everything. Get everything active, moving around. And it was super, super cool to see how much the activity increased uh, once we got that light on it. It just literally like seemed like it drew those fish in. I'm thinking about going online and, and buying a light like that. So drop a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see me go get a light. Try that for some more filming in the future. Through the ice, open water, whatever. I'd, I'd be down to give uh, just about anything a try with those lights. I thought it was a really cool concept. And I know that's something a lot of, uh, a lot of guys use in the open water at night for uh, crappie, white bass, all sorts of other fish that like to school up a whole lot and eat bait fish. But that's all I got for you today, guys. Ice fishing is uh, in full swing here, obviously. And these last few days, I've been out just absolutely crushing the fish. So check back in the next day or two, and I will absolutely have another video or 12 coming your way. And then I'm heading down south to go after some big old mean, nasty, large jaws. But Thank you guys, sincerely, thank you so, so much for watching these videos, taking the time out of your day. I really, really do appreciate each and every one of you, I can promise you that, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Peace! I'm not sorry, I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry, I can't stop with a love like mine.